Welcome back to Three Sport. Uh, doing a defensive back play this evening. Uh, got Cooper, got LJ here. Uh, going through a laundry list of uh, drills here to try to help us uh, be able to get out and coach and learn secondary things that are uh, really pertinent to any kind of level, whatever level you're playing, kids, you're coaching, you're playing, whatever. Uh, clear up to high school. These are things that you can do to make you better. I, I, I got my kind of favorite list of line drills. Everybody's got a set of drills that we run on the line that I, I, I think they're good. I think you should all do them. They're excellent as a warm-up uh, aspect of your practice. Uh, depending how many lines you want to form, they're great for conditioning time uh, where we can pedal and condition and learn how to keep our pads down and bend our knees when they get a little tired and maybe it's fourth quarter kind of play. So uh, we'll look on the line here. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is all I want to do is, we, you've seen us do a little bit of this before, but I think it's real important that they have two different tempos in their back pedal. A slow read back pedal, and then when we speed them up and they get in that fast back pedal, that receiver's really coming on them, that we can back pedal with a, a high rate of speed, get on your uh, treadmill in your basement and turn that thing up high and try to back pedal on that thing as fast as you can go and just get, do that every night and you can be a secondary player. All right, so we're gonna just go slow and fast here, staying right on the line, keeping good tempo with our back pedal. Slow, fast. All right, good, right there, come on. Good, good, LJ. Now, one thing there, stand up. One thing I love that LJ right there. When we went from slow to fast, his head level stayed the same, okay? I wanna see those eyes out in front of you. I wanna play with my eyes up in the secondary. I'm not missing a thing. You're not gonna trick me. I'm back there. Uh, you're not gonna trick me. I'm gonna see the things I need to see, okay? Here we go. Slow, arms, fast. All right, good, right there. Okay, now, we're gonna go slow, we're gonna speed him up, and then I'm gonna turn him. Quick little ball move, whatever you wanna do, circle move. He's gonna stay on that line, turning, opening that hip, pulling that shoulder, keeping his pads down, not raising up and falling into that turn so we can keep pace as we turn. All right, here we go. Slow, fast, turn. Okay, good, right there. See how his knee lifted? All right, we got that knee to lift up in the air and turn and drive forward. We gotta stay on that line, all right? Here we go. Slow, fast, turn. Good, right, beautiful. Good, good, good. Okay, now, we're gonna go slow. We're gonna go fast. I'm gonna drive him downhill at a 45. I wanna see him either T-step or pedal downhill 45 and get with it, all right? Here we go. Slow, fast, bang. Good, right there. Look like a T-step there, huh? Everybody see that? Look like we got into the T. Now, that T-step can't get stuck, right? This foot can't pick up in the air while we're trying to go forward or we're stuck, right? You've all been in that position where it's, whoa, I'm not going anywhere, right? It's gotta get in the ground. My feet have to stay within my cylinder in my framework, all right, and I need to drive and get to high velocity top speed as quick as we can. Going right here again. Slow, fast, bang. Good, right there, pedal through that one. Right, very nice. Okay, now, we're gonna go slow, fast, open up to our left at a 45. Same deal, open, peak if you can. All right, run looking over your shoulder. Okay, here we go. Slow, fast, bang. Good, nice, right there, very good. Keep my big butt out of the video there, right? Here we go, slow, fast, bang. Good, nice, right there. All right, one more here for you zone players, okay? I think backpedal weaving, a little bit overrated. I think you should teach it though to younger kids to help them understand that as you backpedal, we always have, as a defensive player, a leverage we're supposed to have. We're always supposed to have, let's just say that ball's right here, you can all see it. Ball's inside there. I have to keep inside leverage, means closest to the ball, or I keep outside leverage, the leverage away from the ball. You should always know as a secondary player what leverage you're supposed to have, okay, and in whatever drill you have, so, uh, and whatever coverage you have. So as we back pedal, all I'm gonna do is you pedal, and I'll just, I'll either point or give you a ball, is you take 
two steps that way and get right back into your back pedal, okay? It's not a weave. That's really unrealistic. I know a million people practice that thing, okay? But all you're doing is you want to pedal. I'm supposed to stay inside, and that receiver went that way. I got to step that way and stay right in my back pedal. So I'll give you two weaves here. All right, LJ. All right, here we go. Slow, fast, this way. This way. Good. All right, good. Now, one more time here. Those two weave steps have to be short, right? Those get long, we're wrong, right? Let's do it here, coop one time. So we've got to maintain a leverage on our receiver. Here we go. Slow, fast, this way, this way. All right, good, perfect, good. So weaving, keeping leverage on a receiver, stay inside, stay outside of him. That's the coverage we're playing using your help, knowing where your buddies are, you keep that particular leverage, we can play a long time. 